So I've still been working with Onisiferous on just kind of, it looks like I'm just lunging him. <laughs> I'm allowing him to kind of move around me um, and using that to go the direction I want also. Here, well, actually, I'm not even applying much pressure, but I'll just pull a little bit and then release. The whole idea is getting them closer and closer to this trailer. And we've already worked on it quite a bit, if you could tell, because he kind of walked up to all himself. The idea just being that I want to step at a time, you know, and yeah, he has been eating some hay out of here all day. Um, but that's been on his own free will, not something where I've kind of, you know, forced them to just talk to him about to go a little further up. But I just want to get a step at a time. That's it. Just like that. And I'm, and then I let him just have peace and I don't do anything crazy. I might pat him, tell him he did a good job, but his head's almost already further in there than I am. And so I really can't go much further. Um, and so I just let him soak in the presence of just being uh, in a place he's unsure of. And, um, but a place I want him to be without backing up much. Like I said, he has eaten hay in here, um, out of, at least out of the back of it. Then I'm just going to reward him by just stepping out away around it. And again, I'm not really leading him, but he is learning to kind of come to pressure. And I mean, very little. Most of the time. Now, he still has bad times where he doesn't like something or something scares him. Doesn't matter how much pressure you have. He's going where he needs to go uh, for self-preservation at that point. But as he goes out, I can kind of pull on him to get him to follow. And we go hand in hand. And I just kind of teach him to kind of stay in step with me. Um, I've used the tail of my lead rope really only uh, where domesticated horses will walk on you. They'll walk way, way, way away from you, but just teaching them to kind of stay in step with me a little bit. Um, and if I kind of let him get ahead of me a little bit, I'm going to change my body direction. So that hopefully he learns. See how he went ahead again? Just going to put him behind me again. Hopefully he learns to start to stay in step with me, which he doesn't have quite yet, which is fine because all I've ever done is lunge him. If I allow him to go out ahead of me, and I pull him to give the pressure to keep up with me. There we go. And to stay at my pace. Yep, that's okay. I call that Sippy trying to pet me. He steps into me just a little bit. Um, I'm going to keep adding in the trailer. Um, as you can see, I want to... I don't want to pet him too much, especially now that i got a halter on him. Um... This is one day away from having to be on the trailer. And so I would say it's pretty good progress. Um, so again, we're going to just nonchalantly walk up to the horse trailer again. And again, a little bit at a time. One step at a time. I let him be. He's allowed to be unsure. Um, he's allowed to go cautiously. He's allowed to check it all out. So I want him to get where we were before. So I had a little bit of pressure. And my... My uh, the loop on my rope. The other thing I'm going to do, you may not be able to see, he's going to need to get used to me trying to get in the trailer. So I, I put a foot up on. I've already tried to get up in, and he kind of blew out, which I don't want to create um, chaos for him. Um, I want there to be peace in this. And uh, I keep telling him if he'll let me, I can help him with the fly thing. I'd love for him to bump the trailer. That may not be something I get to um, today. Make sure my feet aren't wrapped up in my rope. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of pressure. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Yep, good boy. And again, I'm just going to let him soak and be in quiet and at rest in here there being some peace in this not really anxiety about having to get in or any pressure to have to do that just to come and be in the presence of the trailer um, and have his head in you know those are all really good things 
I might even get myself a little closer and just add a little bit of pressure. There we go. He almost bumped it with his leg, which again, I'm completely cool with. I love to have him get a little touch on the trailer. If he touches a trailer, it might actually blow him out, which I'm not going to be mad at him for any of that stuff. Yep, I just want one step at a time, and I release it. So it's again, it's not the process of, yep, there we go. Yep, good. He just touched the trailer. So it's not even the process of getting in the trailer. Is it, can I control every footfall? And just by one foot at a time, um, I can get him in the trailer with ease. Again, it, you have to read your Mustang. You have to read... You have to read his demeanor, you know, because there's no sense of blowing it up. Um, you gotta, you gotta kind of sip. You, <laughs> I call it a sippy step. You gotta sippy step everything in, um, you know, just a little bit at a time. And since you touch a trailer, and he's at peace. I'm acting like I'm getting in the trailer. I'm just gonna back out, nice and slow, and I'm gonna let him kind of follow me. We're just gonna take the anxiety of even getting in the trailer out of there. I'm not going to pressure him to go out fast either. Um, again, now all of a sudden, it seems like we're leading a horse. You know, we're leading my leading the Mustang rather than him kind of running on ahead. And so that's some really good, really good ground there. Ooh, it's okay. So if you're having a hard time stopping your horse, the best way to do it, and I've done this with a bunch of two-year-olds, is to kind of take them angled up to the gate which he'd be wise not to get there and then go, whoa. And you can see the instant brake he put on, almost where a little bit of reverse is what you're looking for. I oh, know the flies are bad. And then to come up and reward. If you saw what I did with my hand too, is I allowed my hand to kind of come up and go, whoa, right in his line of sight. So I'm gonna, again, I'm going to get the ground I want. Whoop, go around, go around. That's okay. You let him go around. Get your angle on your fence again. And go, whoa, just like that, nice and quiet. You kind of cut off their front view. Don't really want them walking through, but I don't want them running me over either. Come up again. Go, whoa. And then when you get a good whoa, and it seems to be peaceful and quiet, you get a good pet in. Don't pet too much. That's kind of when you first start having to get the halter on. You kind of have to pet too much all the time, and it's really kind of more irritating for them than not. So I use every opportunity for the whoa, for the get, you know, the following me, for the <clears throat> let's just move forward, let's get close to the trailer again. Yep, again, it's happening faster and faster. I feel like I can make it happen a little quicker um, with some of the piece that I've had. I don't really want them going back. But I'd love for him to bump that trailer again. A little unsure. He's like, oh, I'm pretty close now, John. You know? There we go. Yep, a bump. Good, right there. That's perfect. I even allow the backup. That's okay. He gave me a try. You know, he said, I'll, I'll touch it. I'll give it a whirl. And matter of fact, it didn't blow him out of there either. I love a little bump again. I don't want to blow them out. Feel a little more and more pressure. That wasn't a kick at me. Again, one step at a time. I'm going to give him a little reward. I tend, to, I tend to be a little heavy-handed, like I push, probably try to get too much. Ooh. Again, he tried. I know he's backing up out of it, but he's also moving forward when I ask. Notice his head getting a little bit higher, getting a little more unsure. Like Jonathan's now trying to pressure me a little more than I like. So I want to get a good spot. We actually listen. So there we go. Again. There we go. Perfect. Again, I'd rather have him come up here 
And again, once you start something, you got to get a step or you got to get what you're looking for <clears throat> to end on that good note. But I'd rather have him come up here a little more free willing or willing on his own free will and then eat some hay. But already I can feel him saying, well, but yeah, now he's got an agenda. There we go. And for him to stand here enough and, and not back out, then maybe he'll eat hay. There we go. Cool. Again, happy with that. Again, it's the, it's the progress of when I ask and pull, he takes a step. That's all I'm asking for. Well, gang, I hope that's helpful to you. Again, I hope to see you on June 1st. Uh, I'm going to post this after all of that. Um, but I figured, man, the process of trying to do all this is so valuable. I'll just save it till after Return the Master Faster and meet the Mustang at um, WLD Ranch uh, June 1st. So, uh, hey, like, subscribe, share. I don't want to make too long of a post. I want people to still stay interested. But um, hopefully you get little nitbits of how to... Um, how Sippy's coming along and also how uh, you may do the same thing yourself someday. So like, subscribe, share, and I'll keep posting the content of how Honest Efforts is coming along. So, all right, guys, blessings on you and uh, look forward to keeping you updated with what's going on.